hello and welcome back to this channel where we talk about electronics, technology and 3D printing. A few videos ago we had seen how to create a 7 segment display using WS2812 LED stripes and then we create the same display model using a PCB way printed circuit board which allowed us to reduce assembly times and above all the thickness of the display. Furthermore, with the use of the PCB we were able to connect multiple display together using the Pogo connector magnetically and wirelessly. In many messages I have been asked to see better how to spread the soldering pest and how to carry out the SMD soldering with thermal reflow and many of you asked me for the Arduino source to be able to program this display. So today let's see specifically how to solder in the best way thanks also to an LM249MS microscope that was provided me by the Link Micro company and the use of an Arduino library dedicated to this display made with LED stripes. The display has a thickness of just 14 mm and I use the PCBWay 3D printing service which created it with a 3D printer in ABS. However, in the description you will find all the files necessary to print it with your 3D printer. The segments were made of white PLA. I used magnetic connectors to allow multiple display to connect without using cable. As we will see later, in the Arduino library that I have prepared, each single segment can be lit and colored. PCB Ways offer the best custom PCB prototyping service, but they also offer injection molding, 3D printing laser and CNC cutting with their instant quote feature. You can simply upload your model and choose from SLA, FDM and SLM, which is a laser mounting a metal powder to make metal parts. They also have an instant quote feature for their custom PCB. So go ahead and try it right now at the PCBWay.com. So this is the printed circuit with the LED already soldered. There are the magnets that hold the other display together. And this is the LED assembly sequence that allow you to use the library that we will see later. This is a three-way pogo connector with gold springs load connector. Extra small and a W2812B LED. We start the soldering part by cleaning the stencil with this isopropylic alcohol and then clean the printed circuit pad. So we make sure that the circuit is blocked on three sides so it, it can't move when we spread the soldering past. We align the stencil well with the pitches I use this past for SMD and you will find the link in the description. Using a plastic spatula, spread the tin so the heat can penetrate inside the peaches. Now before starting the SMD solder, let's quick see the unboxing of the Link Micro M249 
MS Digital Microscope. Inside the box there is a complete set of everything you need to use microscope in the best possible way. A 10 inch monitor, a remote control to control all function of the microscope, a USB power cable and power supply, a switch to turn the LED light on and off and control its intensity. There is also a HDMI mini to HDMI conversion cable. Three lenses with different magnification and are provided. On YouTube you will find many videos talking about specification of this microscope. And the frame is made of metal with adjustable rings to allow the position of the optical according to your needs. Assembly is really simple and quick. Also is included a 32 GB micro SD. You can take photos and make videos. And now let's turn on the microscope and see how the solder past is spread. The coverage of the peaches is good and well aligned. And now look what you can see thanks to this digital microscope, the individual microspheres of tin. And now the single moment where the solder melts and the components self-align to the pads. Here I exaggerate with the tin to make the self-centering process better visually. However, if you are interested in this microscope, in the description we, you will find the link to all the technical characteristics of the virus model.